and with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. One down. Nick Fortes, the next up for the Marlins. A lot of clutch hitting from him recently. More than an RBI per game over his last 10. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Adios! Peralta! His 63rd home run of the season. And they add on. It's 8-0. to do damage. I think he had his sights set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. So the batting order turns over and here is Jazz Chisholm Jr. That one ripped right center field. Banks off the wall. Around first heading for two. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. At the play, Nicky Lopez steps out first for the out. Luis Arise stands in. He's 0 for 1. That's a base hit, run scores. It's a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. And now Jake Berger ripped on a line to center. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. But they put a nine spot up on the board here to open up a big lead. Second inning coming up here in South Florida. It's the Marlins nine and the Padres nothing. New inning getting started and the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. Out to short. Gordon with the toss to He's first. Out. One out in the second. Next for the Padres, Luis Campusano. No hits in the shutout last night. And a foul ball. Lopez, a former All-Star, 28 years old. And he was born in Venezuela. No, and that one's a ball. little bit low. And now it's even one and one. And the right-hander deals. Bows it back with two strikes. That's Missed a with a changeup. Two and two. The Padres with a lot of ground to make up here at the top of the second. Still two and two after the foul ball. Look okay. out, almost got him upstairs. Straighten him up a little bit. Got it. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. So digging in now for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth. That's and a strike. swing and a miss there. Oh one. Next Dude. offering is in for a strike. Two out, space is empty. And a foul ball, he stays alive. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the A-B going. The 0-2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Two outs. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Padres go down quietly. Steep hill to climb. It's a 9-0 deficit. McCullough back to work. Swing and a ball hammered left field. 
And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. He really stung that pitch and drove it deep, but pretty surprised he didn't end up on second base right there. I think he probably should have. But you know what? We'll get that one is absolutely belted. And it's off the top of the wall. Throw comes in. Runner stop. Second and third. Nobody out. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been. But obviously, you have to be happy with that result. Now the batter now, Nick Gordon. This one drilled. Right center field. That one hit for the fence. And down! Another homer. His 51st home run of the year. And they tack on three. It's 12-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boone. Aggressive, and it paid off. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. You Darvish taking over on the mound. Well, he's been hit pretty hard at times this season, as you see with the big ERA. So this is an important outing for him to get on the right track. And here is Brian De La Cruz. Nobody out with three runs in already this frame. Bottom half of inning number two. Rip to short, snagged on a bounce. Throw sails over his head at first. Well, an error like that, you look at the scoreboard and you kind of wonder if they are losing focus out there. And look, it, it can be tough to stay locked in when you're getting blown out. We've all been there. And I'm not saying that's definitely what happened on this play, but it's not a great look. Nick Fortes, the next up for the Marlins. He's already homered here in this one. Line drive, caught! That at bat is a positive sign, even though it probably doesn't feel like it. He hit the ball hard, but it doesn't always work out in your favor. Sometimes a defender is there to make a play. On the verge of history, his next home run boots it. Throw to first, gets him. Good job to stay with it there for the second out. And up next for Miami, Nicky Lopez. One for two. Line drive. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. Throws to second. And he's in there. Oh, he comes in on the play. A little more back spin on that instead of the top spin. He's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. Digging in, Luis Arias. And first offering is fouled off. Runner at second, two down. That one ripped. Adios, Pelota! A two-run homer. His 52nd home run of the season, and they add a pair. It's 15 0. Oh, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boo. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to bend foul. Was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets the jog around the bases. Good for him. Now, here is Jake Berger. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. Another one. Back to back homers. And they add to their lead. It's 16 to nothing. That's his third straight game with a homer singing. This dude. one ends in a blowout for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Shopey saying so.